The city of Syracuse is helping give a group of kids the chance to learn how to skate and play some ice hockey, something they might not otherwise have a chance to do. Our Kelly Cowan has the story. Try to put the weights on your toes, like when you're, you're running or sprinting. Or... Not every kid has the same access to the game of hockey that many Syracuse Crunch players had growing up. Do you skate often? This is my second time. But the city is hoping to change that. I like to skate and learn new moves and how to, when I fall, how to get back up. Try it again. It's an expensive sport, and not every kid has a chance to do that. So if we can reach out, get some equipment, and get somebody in the game of hockey that normally wouldn't have a ch chance, then... I've done my job. <laughs> One of the biggest barriers kids face when trying to learn the game of hockey is the high cost of equipment. So to combat that, the city of Syracuse and Mackay Sports donated today's gear to get these kids on the ice for the Crunch's Learn to Skate Clinic. The kids come from all over the city of Syracuse. For some, it's their first time lacing up a pair of skates, while the veterans get a kick out of seeing their own improvement on the ice. From the last time I went on, it was like, I had to like get on the wall, and it was like, kind of, it was kind of scary, but now I'm getting used to it, and just having fun. It's pretty good. It's the experience, but it's also for them to be able to, to understand that there's other stuff to try and believe in their dreams and stuff like that. So, um, no, it's it's very fun for me to be able to, uh, to have the, the opportunity to be there with kids and uh, show them how to skate for the first time. If she puts the weight in front, then it's easier to bend your knees. But learning to skate and... isn't the only thing these kids will take away from today's session. We talked about hockey, and we talked about how, um, how is, like, hockey important. There you go. And he said it's very important for the muscles and... Healthy, stay healthy. The city is looking into teaming with the NHL or USA Hockey and is hoping that when they hold their next event in February, they'll have everything these kids need to play the game. Reporting from War Memorial Arena, I'm Kelly Cowan.